Hi everyone, welcome back to MK's Real Estate Moments. I am a local realtor here in Las Vegas. I've been a full-time top producing agent since 2001. My name is Michelle Kubiak. That's where the MK came from. And um, I am an agent with Brookshire Hathaway Home Services of Nevada. I have some great information I'm going to go over today. First, my license number is S.48606, and I'll leave my phone number at the end. And today we have a couple of different topics that I'd like to discuss. And one is um, brand new homes. The general public usually doesn't know that you can bring an outside agent to a new home build. <clears throat> Keep in mind, when you go looking at brand new homes, you're, you're going there without representation. The builder's agent works for the builder, where an outside agent like myself um, works for you and my buyers, of course. And I get a list every week of what builders have what incentives, if they have a lower interest rate, what are the quick move in homes? And what a quick move in home is, is that it's something that somebody had already purchased and couldn't perform on the loan or backed out of the transaction or the builder um, is building freestanding homes that which are called spec homes. Um, so I get that list every week. Um, I, I actually go out and look at the homes prior to bringing my buyers out to them. Uh, for example, I have um, a couple of ladies and um, a gentleman, two different buyers, and they need a yard. Um, they're open to townhomes, but as long as it has a yard. So because they have to work, I go out and I'll go look at all these homes for them and then make sure that it has a yard so I can save their time because real estate's my full-time jo job, not theirs. So I go out there and um, do a lot of the footwork for you. I actually, it, better market access is is what I'm talking about. Um, you'll see a slide that comes up about this. I have, I have expert guidance on, you know, what is a good upgrade to get through the builder or what you can do afterwards that will cost you less money out of pocket. Um, and I can tell you what's going to be built around the neighborhood. Uh, and then I can negotiate for you with the builder. Some, some builders are more apt to taking an offer than others. Like I went and checked to see if, um, a builder this morning would take an offer lower than what they're asking. And this particular builder didn't, but there are builders right now that are just wanting to get rid of their inventory um because it is the end of the builder's fiscal quarter so that's when you can get a few more incentives than normal um and so um if you are considering buying a brand new property please please don't go it alone you you have somebody there to go to bat for you to go do a lot of the footwork instead of walking into a community that maybe is over budget for you where as you know because you know you'll see the signs next to the freeway that say homes from the low 300s well that was last year <laughs> and now they're in the 400s so um let me do a lot of that heavy lifting for you i have um a lot of experience in selling brand new homes and would love to help with that now let's just turn the our hat a little bit and talk about selling and how we come to determine the about the price of your home and how it um, is com in comparison to your neighbor's property so we do what is called a comparative market analysis which is way different than you know looking at your home's value on Zillow because Zillow is only an algorithm um, so it's hit or miss with them, um, but your experts, like myself, are the ones that can actually help you get your house priced right to get it on the market. <clears throat> so 
what we do to price it if, is to look around the neighborhood for model matches like yours um, and then we look at what you have in upgrades versus what your neighbor that sold for 50000 under um, had. And um, if they were a short sale or a foreclosure, those make a difference. Um, we also look at the condition of your property. So if you have things that are in disarray, you know, we're there as experts to help you do some slight improvements to help you get more money for your home. Um, and what that looks like is, um, for example, like if your front door is scuffed up and needs to be painted, I might recommend painting your front door, um, changing the hardware of, of your doorknobs and so forth. Um, if it needs paint touch up, if it needs decluttering, I mean, those are all factors because it needs to create the best first impression when a buyer or seller will come into your, I mean, a buyer will come into your home. We look at lot size. If you're backing a street, um, that, that doesn't always deter buyers from your home. Um, it just depends on the typical buyer like me I grew up next to a freeway so being backing a street doesn't bother me uh, so those are some of the options also if you're thinking of selling know that if you've done zero improvements since you bought your home in 1990 that nine times out of ten you're gonna get a flipper that comes in and will give you a lowball offer and when you can be making the money that the flipper is making, I have contractors that will come in and do the improvements for you, whether you have the money or not. Um, if you don't have the money, they can bill you through escrow. So that's an option. Why should the flipper make money on your house when you could be the one making money on your house? Um, that's why hiring a professional that has these connections can get you a top dollar for your home instead of letting the investors do it. So right now we're, we are, speaking of, seeing in the market not as many investors. However, we are seeing families that are finally being able to get in a home because the investors have, you know, they're waiting for interest rates to go down like a lot of buyers are which um, when the interest rates go down way low, the prices are going to go up. So if you can get in at a price now um, and then refinance later and possibly rent out the property that you buy today, whether it's an um, owner-occupied property or investment property. Uh, so just some food for thought. I also have a property of the week that is located at 708 Lillis. This is located in North Las Vegas. It is um, a one-story property with three bedrooms and one bath and a one-car garage, but it has a huge yard. Um, it has a fence around it. And check out the price. It's only $280,000, and it's a single-family home. So if you're looking for a great starter home, this is it. Um, so uh, again, if, if you need help in any area of real estate in Las Vegas, Henderson, North Las Vegas, Mount Charleston, um, anywhere in Las Vegas, I can help you um, get into or out of a home. Again, my name is Michelle Kubiak with Brookshire Hathaway Home Services of Nevada. I can be reached at 702-683-6576. And let me not forget to do um, the vote for um, me as best residential realtor in Las Vegas for the best of Las Vegas or the review journal. Um, I would be honored to have your vote. And thank you for watching.